Today I'm going to be making a protective cover for my Singer Featherweight case just to see if the Singer Featherweight is up to the task and if the machine is worth all of the hype. But before we do, if you haven't already, please do subscribe and hit the notification bell to receive updates. Let's get into it. So the featherweight works a lot differently than any of the other machines that I have ever worked on. On 90% of the machines that I sew on, the needle goes in with the flat side facing the hand wheel and the thread always gets threaded from left to right. But on this featherweight, it's different because the needle goes in facing the outside of the machine and the thread threads from right to left, which is totally opposite. Well, I think I'm going to stop with doing this project on this machine for the time being. I think it will be better for me to just finish this project on my Bernina. Why do I say that? Well, for starters, I am using a canvas material and I was sewing on a zipper onto the canvas material and it did just fine. But the machine was already set at a tension of seven in order to get through the canvas to sew on the zipper. If I were to double up the canvas, which I will need to do, like so, or sew through four layers, the machine will do it, but not without difficulty. So that's why I want to switch machines for finishing out this project. Is the Singer Featherweight worth all of the hype? Well, I think it depends on who you talk to because the Featherweight will be excellent for doing quilt piecing but it's not good for doing other projects like making a cover for a single featherweight case because it has a weak motor and it's not going to sew through a lot of thick layers because the machine's really not made for that uh the machine is mostly for sewing cotton and that sort of thing cotton or you know, if you're making a gingham dress or something like that, it will work wonderfully on this machine. But if you want to do something deeper than that, then it's gonna have a hard time. Uh, to someone like me, who doesn't necessarily quilt, but makes a lot of clothing, uh, this would not be the business for me because um, I don't usually sew with cotton materials. I know like back in the 50s and stuff like that, people, made a lot of their garments with cotton and linen but today a lot of people like me <laughs> make uh clothing with stretchy materials like athletic type materials and this machine is really just not suited for that but if you wanted to come out in the backyard do some quilt piecing be able to pick up this machine with one hand carry it outside have your tea have your coffee or whatever you drink of uh, just peace all day long then you could do that with a simple portable battery bank which i will show somewhere here on screen and that is worth 
everything that is worth no amount of money can replace being able to be in the great outdoors with the sewing machine so this is what the finished product looks like for my singer featherweight protective cover i think it turned out really really well but what are your thoughts about the singer featherweight is it a gimmick or are there better options out there please let me know your thoughts down in the comment section below i'd be happy to hear from you I hope you really enjoyed this video. Please like, comment, and subscribe to receive more sewing-related content.